Coming up on Filmworld Community, the results from last week's straw poll, will I be buying a new camera? And I've got some footage from my trip to Talladega Super Speedway. Hey guys, welcome to Filmworld Community. It's me, your host, Michael Pendleton, and thank you very much for joining me for this week's episode. Now, just to start things off, as some of you guys may know, I am actually a pretty big NASCAR fan, or just racing fan in general, and NASCAR definitely falls within there. And I went to Talladega Super Speedway last weekend, and we still had an episode of Premiere Prep. I made sure that happened, and I had a blast. And I got some footage that, uh, well, check it out. So nothing too crazy, I wasn't able to shoot a ton of footage, but I definitely had a blast the entire weekend. It's a whole lot of fun. I've been going to Talladega since 2010. It's just a whole, whole lot of fun. And I even got to meet Rutledge Wood from the American Top Gear. That was super cool. All right, so let's get back into filmmaking and we're going to start off with some questions from YouTube comments. And the first one comes from Nicholas Hamilton in response to uh, last week's episode of Filmworld Community. He says, do you go up to people and say, ha ha, look at my desktop environment? Just about every single day, actually. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyway. Moving on to the next question from ASB Imaging, he says, Are you the true Filmworld channel? Because I was searching and there are two. This is actually an interesting story. There are two, but I technically am the true Filmworld channel because the second one not only came after me, it's also a like movie pirate site for uh, Indian movies so i don't know exactly what's up with it they only pirate those kind of movies and they're literally pirated right there on youtube it's kind of bad it, the channel should be shut down not mine <laughs> but the other one should uh, i i don't know what's up with it but yeah there's another film world out there but it's definitely not the same thing as this film world all right so uh thank you very much for that question asb imaging it it really is kind of funny but yes i was actually here first i made sure that there was no other channel when i started this one actually okay so the next question is from farah jean she says admit it you're a film riot fan aren't you well 
yes, I watch Film Riot, but I also watch Dave Dugdale and Philip Bloom, Griffin Hammond, DSLR Video Shooter, Nop Top, and many others. I'm a fan of all YouTube in general, but yes, I am a Film Riot fan. It is a pretty good channel, and they definitely have some good content. Uh, but yeah, as a Film Riot fanboy, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, but yes, I do enjoy their videos from time to time for sure. Next question comes from Britt Portier. Sorry if I butchered that name. <laughs> um, but he says, do you plan on upgrading your camera? If so, to what? Well, as you may know, right now I'm shooting on the T3i, but my personal camera is actually, is actually a Canon Vixia HFR40, which is not a, necessarily a great camera, and I really actually haven't used it for a long, long time. But I will actually be using it for this, uh, this week's upcoming episode of Premiere Prep, because I need a secondary camera. So I will be using it then for probably the first time in about six months to a year. But am I planning on getting a new camera? Yes. What am I going to get? I am actually leaning very heavily towards either the Sony a6300 or maybe the 6500. I'm really having a hard time choosing between the two. I'm trying to see if the price is really worth it for the 6500. Um, but so that is where I'm really leaning to. I'm also thinking maybe GH4, but I've got, you know, the, the sensor is not as big as the Sony's and I really like that on the Sony's and the kind of lenses that I have and everything I think would adapt better to the Sony's. I just really like the look of the Sony's in general, especially especially considering that they have S-Log, and log recording is almost a must for me now, now that I'm looking for a new camera. So I'm really thinking the Sony a6500 is going to be my best bet, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. It, that things definitely might change between now and then. I'm also looking at maybe something even bigger, like the JVC GY LS300. I've been a fan of that camera for a long time, and it also has log recording and 4K and all that kind of stuff, but it also has things like XLR input, Puts and it's got that camcorder type uh, form factor and everything. I really, really love it. If I could afford it, I think I would go for the GY LS300, but I'll just have to see. Again, I will keep you guys posted. So now moving on to more questions. The next question comes from last week's episode of Premiere Prep, and it's also from Farajin, and I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but it, the question is, what is Linux? Well, Linux is an operating system kernel, which has been used in many, many operating systems. If you use the internet, you are definitely using Linux, whether you are on Mac or Windows, because most servers for the internet run on Linux. Also, the Android operating system runs off the Linux kernel, as well as many desktop operating systems, which I personally use Fedora, and I've also used Ubuntu in the past. They're absolutely fantastic. They're free, open source, very secure. They're just amazing. I would highly recommend you do some more looking into it, and if you want to get into filmmaking on Linux, definitely check out our series on filmmaking on Linux. But you kind of commented on one of those videos, so I'm guessing you've already seen it. But, so uh, that, that's a very brief explanation. It's, it's an open source project, which means there are thousands of people all across the world contributing to it. That's about as general a explanation as I can give you, I'm sorry. But uh, we could go into an entire hour, two hour long video on just what is Linux. And the last question comes from Ace the Dolphin Guy, and he actually pointed something out that I pretty much forgot about. Thank you so much for reminding me. He says, after the episode on tripods, can you do an episode about the right settings to use to render in Blender? And then he said, you know, how I was going to do that after the last episode, I think it was, before this series started. And to be honest, I actually kind of forgot about that. And thank you so much for reminding me. Yes, after this week's episode on budget tripods, we will definitely take a look at the best render settings to use in Blender for different situations, because of course one render setting does not basically do all. We need to talk about what uh, they will do for different situations. So we'll definitely get into that after this week's episode of budget tripods. So thank you very much to the Ace Dolphin guy for reminding me of that. And if you guys want to ever remind me of things, mention them in the comments below. Sometimes things phew, flee my mind. All right, so now that we're done with questions, let's get into our straw poll from last episode of Film World Community. And the question was, do you, do you calibrate your editing monitors? And we actually got several votes and uh, it's a very interesting poll. And the results are in. 38% say no 
And then a tied 38% say I use a standardized color set like sRGB and things like we had talked about last episode. And then 25% said, yes, you do calibrate your monitors. This is all really, really interesting because I was thinking there's actually gonna be more people saying that they do calibrate their monitors. And it's actually kind of relieving to me that they don't say that because, well, I don't, as we talked about last episode. And uh, if you wanna definitely see why I don't, definitely check out that episode, which you can find here. Um, but yeah, so that was a very interesting straw poll and I cannot wait to do another one. I've been having a blast doing these straw polls. So next episode of Film World Community, of course, we'll be having another straw poll. Well, that really does it for this week's episode of Film World Community. Thank you guys so much for watching. That really does it, and I will catch you for this week's episode of Premiere Prep where we are talking about budget tripods. Are they even worth spending that little amount of money? Well, we'll find out this Friday. That really does it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your host, Michael Pendleton. Remember to live your life one frame at a time, and I will catch you next time.